Hello, everyone. I have a question. What is the point of merch? Merchandise. YouTubers signing up with standard t-shirt design companies to put their last name or their, their family motto on t-shirts, on hats, on drink bottles, on coasters, on pens, pins, scarves, sweaters, hoodies. It should be for their individual family, not for hundreds of thousands of other people to wear someone else's family motto, someone else's family name, someone else's surname. Like, okay, not like. It's stupid. I don't like the the merchandise thing that so many vloggers, so many family vloggers, so many makeup guru vloggers, so many drama tubers. I mean, yeah, it's my personal opinion. I'm not into the merch stuff, and I never will be. I've never bought any major YouTubers merchandise, ever. I've never considered it. I've never planned on it, and I've never done it. It's just so stupid and redundant to expect someone you don't even know to buy something like a shirt or a hoodie or a hat that has your family motto, your personal motto. You don't need to share your personal motto on fabric with everyone else because that motto is more important to you than it is to everyone else. You know what I mean? If it's your own personal motto, keep it to yourself. Keep it within your family or your household. But you don't need to put it on a t-shirt and sell it on a random Etsy style website. Just so you can make money. I mean, yeah, I get it. That's the point. They're making money. They're already making money off of monetization and now they want to make more money by spending a certain percentage of profit that they earn from the t-shirts to pay for the t-shirts to be printed and to pay for the t-shirts and other things to be shipped and sold and delivered. It's all about the money. And at that point, if you're already monetizing on your YouTube channel to have enough stands and fans and stalkers and lovers and people who make copycat Instagram accounts just because they're that obsessed with you, A, that's unhealthy, and B, you're already monetizing off of your subs so by spending your monetization money on printing merchandise and the shipping fees just to get back a bigger profit than what you're spending no Keep your personal mottos to yourself and your family and your household. You don't need to share your personal mottos and your mantras and your slogans for your family with everyone else on the internet. You know, there are things that you keep at home that aren't done outside of home. What's the, the old adage, what's said, in, what's said in Vegas stays in Vegas. Our motto in our home is ours. It's not for everyone else in the world to see or to hear or to follow. It could be used as good advice, but not to the point where you're making your personal family motto from your home to apply it to everyone else who watches your videos. 
freedom of speech, I get it. Freedom of speech works both ways. Freedom of speech for you to share your motto with the rest of the world, even though they don't understand the significance or importance of it like your own family does. And then freedom of speech for me to share my opinion about merchandise from normal, ordinary people who tend to turn into greedy, money-loving, motherfucking assholes. Because they, they just want a piece of that money. They just want that green. It's not, it's not healthy, it's toxic, it's venomous, it's dangerous, it's poisonous. There's not one single YouTuber who I follow enough to the point that I would want to buy a t-shirt with their channel name on it. That's just not me. It's not me to do that, and I'll never do that because I don't want to give them my money because I can see they're already monetizing off of subscriptions and subscribers. So why would I want to give them more money? I don't. Because at that point, I'd be losing money, and they'd be making money, and I'd be losing money. I wouldn't gain financially in return from buying a long sleeve t-shirt or a hoodie with that person's logo or mantra or slogan on it. It would be a material gain but not a financial gain for me. And if, But then they would make a financial gain not only off of their videos being watched but also off of their items being purchased. So, my personal advice to everyone out there who buys YouTuber merchandise and whatnot, stop. You're not gaining anything. You're losing your money to this person who's already making money off of you watching their videos, and then they're making more money by making a profit off of the item that you just bought. I just shake my head. Shake my big, fat, ugly head. There's no need. No need to buy other people's merchandise with their family slogans and mantras and logos on them just because they say, Oh, we do these videos for you guys. We're doing you a favor. No, it's not about you guys. It's not about the audience. It's about the content. It's about the greed. It's about the financial intake, the income, the advantages, the perks. It's about the fame, the infamy. That's what merchandise is. That's what YouTube is. I mean, yeah, I'm just shy of 200 subscribers at the time of... Yawn. I'm just shy of 200 subscribers at the time of this video, and by the time this video goes up, I'll probably be at like 300 or 400 subscribers, and by no means is that enough to even begin monetizing. You gotta have 10,000 watched hours. No, 10,000 subscribers and 4,000 plus watched hours to be able to monetize even in the tiniest, tiniest little bit. I'd like to get there one day, but obviously nothing I have put out has become viral. Mm. Yeah, nothing I, I've done has become viral or a big hit enough for, you know, 300 views in one day and then uh, 1,600 views over the next second and third days. I, I haven't had anything like that happen yet. It would be nice. And I've had a few videos that hit 10, 20, 30 views in the first 72 hours. And at that point, I'm just content. I'm happy. Yes, I'm making content. But no, I'll never have any merchandise. Because I don't want to sell me. I don't want to sell out. And I think once people start monetizing on YouTube 
And then they decide, oh, I'm going to make some merchandise. I'm going to find a merchandise manufacturing company that does our logos and mantras and pictures on pens and paper, stationery and coasters and iPad cases and stickers for your laptop. Socks. Scarves, hoodies, t-shirts, baseball tees. Hats. Even face masks. With our logo on them. No. That's just stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. With a double O. There's no point in buying merchandise. Because like I said, they're getting more profit when they're already gaining profit. And then the person who buys merchandise is losing a profit because they spent money and they're not going to make that money back. Yeah. So, that's my rant right now about merchandise and why it's so fucking pointless. Please, people, stop buying merchandise from your favorite YouTubers because you're not gaining anything. You're not. Okie dokie, I'll, uh... Approaching the 12 minute mark, and eh, I think I'll make another vlog later. Another rant later. Thanks for coming. Stick around. Watch more of my videos. I'd appreciate another view on every video that is in the single digits. You can click like and subscribe if you want to, but I'm not forcing you. You don't have to worry about that notification bell. I upload every day. People know where the subscribe button is. People know where the like button is. They don't need to be told to do it. And that's the kind of person I am. I normally don't even suggest it. Because you know where it is. It's your choice. And I'm okay if you dislike this. I'm content with that. It's okay to have your own opinions of my fat, ugly face talking to an iPad camera. Because I'm too lazy to use my Panasonic PowerShot and edit. Oh well, whatever. Approaching the 13 minute mark now. Okay, bye bye.